How's it going? I'm your second bald comic in a row. How you doing? Good. That's great. How you doing, fella? You got a nice head of hair. Yeah. So does Josh get a nice head of hair. That's why he doesn't mean dick to me. I got no respect for people with hair. You'll never know what it's like. Be bald. Fucking bald. Sometimes you're bald and then you forget that you're bald. And then you remember that you're bald again later on. It sucks. I had a long-term relationship. I went into it not bald and then I came out bald. And then I talked to pretty girls after that and I forget that I'm bald sometimes. I was talking to this pretty girl for like 10 minutes. I thought I was doing a great job. She didn't like any fucking thing that I said. After a while, I just had to walk away. Walking away, I'm like, God, I used to be so good at this. What happened? Oh my God, I'm bald! I was talking to that girl like I was Kevin Sorbo or some shit. Like an idiot. So now, if I do go out with pretty girls, I, I use some underhanded maneuvers to tilt the scales in my favor. Like I'll take them out to eat a weird food, like Vietnamese pho. You know what Vietnamese pho is? You know what it is? Soup noodles. Taking to eat soup noodles. And I require them to use chopsticks when they're eating them, too. So, like. Okay, like, yeah, you're not so pretty now, are you? What'd you get on your ACT? Do you come with a dowry? I was, uh, I heard some good news the other day, though. I did. I was, uh, listening to NPR, and there was this person, uh, that has alopecia, which is a disease where you can't grow any hair on your body whatsoever. A person in Germany that with alopecia underwent experimental radical surgery was able to grow a full head of hair. A full head of hair! Woo! Which is great news! If you got fucking alopecia, <laughs> but all of us regular ball people know that the doctor just gave up on us! We're focusing on niche markets now. What are they gonna come up with next? A cancer cure for Sagittarius's? <laughs> Penis enlargement for albinos? I want a big dick too! I want hair! Who the world now you should know about hair anyway? I had the shit! It was long and curly! I used to be attractive! Yeah, laugh it up! You know, laugh it up! Because baldness is the only affliction that gets no sympathy from anyone whatsoever! When I was going bald, not going bald anymore, I'm in remission now, but when I was going bald, nobody said they were sorry! Nobody apologized and said it's not that big of a deal, get over it! Get over it! The hair's falling on my fucking head! Imagine if you woke up 40% uglier one day and some asshole told you to get over it. Nobody said that to me if I went blind or if I got severely burned. I'm not saying I deserve as much sympathy as a burn victim, but a blind person, fuck yes. Treat me like a blind man. Tell me you're sorry, listen to my story. Hold my hand and walk me across the streets. <laughs> You ever get engaged to be married? You ever do that before? I got engaged once. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was a real goof. I called it off. I called off the engagement. You gotta call off engagements. What are you gonna do, get married? You childish prick. Oh, I love you so much. Let's all get dressed up, buy me a diamond ring. We'll invite all of our friends. We'll have a wedding under the sea, there'll be a talking frog. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. Your mind's fucked up. When I was engaged, my mind was very fucked up. I was sitting with my fiance at one point, we were sitting on the couch, watching TV, she looks at me and she says, hey Bobby, what do you think about brown and blue for our wedding colors? And I thought, I don't really have to love my wife, right? People <laughs> <laughs> don't love their wives, do they? What about some kind of square? <laughs> Grandma didn't love grandma, they were next door neighbors. Second to this shit. Brown and blue is great. Let's do it. But now, I couldn't do it. I called off the wedding. That was a drag. Boy, she was not too happy when I called off that wedding. Ooh. She went a little cuckoo. <laughs> Hit me in the head a whole bunch of times. Flipped over my coffee table. Pulled down my bookshelves. I had to get in the way before she got to the TV, but I had to pretend like I wasn't trying to protect the TV. <laughs> but I was trying to protect the TV. That was the one thing in my mind. And the computer. 
She made me call her dad in Mexico to tell him that I called off the wedding. That was a drag. Don't even know how to say suicide in Spanish. 